Hey, dear listeners. Hello and welcome to our first look at Project Nimbus on the Nintendo Switch. Now, what is this game? I don't know. It's got mechs in it, it's got explosions, and I saw it on sale and decided I want to play this game because I like all of those things. I guess all two of those things. But anyway, so we're going to take a quick look at the campaign in this game. I did play it a little bit earlier, uh, a few weeks ago when I first picked it up, and so hopefully it doesn't start me back there, because I need to... Okay, we'll go through... We'll skip the tutorial. How's about that? It's probably a bad idea, but we're going to jump straight into Semper Fidelis. Let's see, so we've got a few difficulty settings. We've got casual gaming, gamer recommended, and prepare to die. I always love the games that have the difficulty setting in them that says prepare to die, because it's like, I don't know. It's just kind of funny in my opinion. All right, let's just do, let's do gamer recommended. Auto lock on and health auto regeneration are disabled. Why? We'll do that. Because I'm a rookie pilot, I don't know what I'm doing. We'll keep it casual over here on the Reform Gamers. Now, of course, there's a story tied with this. I don't necessarily know everything that's going on with it. I know there's some rival factions that are warring. It honestly, I, when I first played this a few weeks ago, when I first downloaded the game, it almost reminds me a little bit of Call of Duty meets Gundam, which is interesting in my opinion so you have these different factions of course they have the different max the different uh, I almost said utilities not utilities like I don't even want to say armored suits but just infantry units tanks all that fun stuff going after colonies going after all that jazz like I said it just reminds me a lot of Gundam it's because you know how when you watch Gundam, it has all this like political stuff going on, there's different factions fighting each other, there's people caught in the crossfires. Is what it is. What's for dinner tonight? Oh my gosh! Also, this game has some incredibly cheesy dialogue. It is truly cringeworthy sometimes. So here you have your ship, mobile suit. Your audio logs that you can listen to. And I believe you can customize your your mobile suit. I'm going to start calling them mobile suit instead of ships. Because they're very different. Okay, so here we go. Is someone shooting me already? No, auto lock on is on. So all these... Oh, wait a minute, what did I do? I gotta get my bearings. How do I... Okay, that's up, down, okay. So the controls for this are... They do take some getting used to. They are kind of complex. You use X and B to ascend and descend. Uh, your trigger buttons do all of your shooting, firing, and stuff. Your left trigger is your boost. Uh, your left bumper opens up your weapon wheel. And then right bumper does nothing. I believe Y switches your weapon. No, Y is reload. Like I said, I'm trying to remember all the different buttons, but this is essentially what it is. Now, what was funny about this when I first started playing it, this reminded me so much of Damon X Machina. When they did the beta and we were all able to play it, it reminds me so much of that. Which is both good and bad. Because when I played the Damon X Machina beta, I liked it to a degree. I thought the controls were clunky. I thought that just the overall layout of everything was really clunky. It was just kind of hard to play, to be honest. And so I remember not really enjoying it all that much. So that begs the question, then, am I going to like this game? Uh, it's a possibility that I won't. Hopefully I will. Because I want a good mech game. You know, I remember playing on, was it... Xbox? No, it was N64. There was this Robotech game that I played with some friends. And if you've seen the anime, it's a pretty old anime. But it was one that I grew up on. And man, it was... At the time, it was good. I'm sure if I went back and watched it now, it would it would probably not age very well. I own the 
I own, what is it, three series and all the movies? I have, like, the entire show and stuff uh, on DVD. But, it, anyway, so I remember playing that game and just loving it. I played that game so much. No, it was on the GameCube, now that I think about it. It was the GameCube. Man, the GameCube just had so many good games on it. But it was Robotech Battle Cry, I think it was called. And so you play as the different suits in there. You have, I mean, you have the different suits in there. And it was just, it was fun, you know? It, it followed the anime pretty closely. And ever since then, I've been wanting a good mech game. I haven't really played any of the Gundam games. I tried to play... What was it? Is it Versus on the PS4? I think that's the one I tried to play. And it was, I mean, it was alright, but the problem with the problem with games like this is that they're too complex a lot of the times. And they're just... At least for me, they're not fun when they're that complex. You know, I mean, think of Transformers Devastation when you got to play as the Autobots and the Decepticons. And it was just easy to jump into and play. That's what I want out of a good mech game. Don't make it super hard or anything like that. Just give me a fun game to play. Make it easy. Which, by the way, so far this is actually accomplishing all of that. So I'm actually kind of digging this. The controls are a little flighty. Which, I mean, is fine because it's max. But this is kind of cool, actually. Okay, got it. I don't know if the mission structure changes beyond this. If it doesn't change beyond this, it might get a little boring after a while. I don't know, this ain't bad. Okay, my boost is empty. Let's see if we can get after him. He's getting pretty far away. Hope that it gets him. That should be a direct hit. There we go. Is he going straight into the water? Where's he going? Is this water? What is this? Okay, I think he just... Oh, yeah. Okay, that is, that is the water. That's weird. Alright, let me see here. Go to that. Reload. Wait a minute, I have flares? I don't use flares. Mess with the buttons here. Micro-missile? What is that? Oh, the... Oh, there's a cockpit view! Because this isn't going to make me sick. Sweet. Hey, I can I can get with this. Oh man. Okay, this is kind of actually making me nauseous. <laughs> can you imagine this game in VR? But dear listeners, you let me know if you've seen Gundam, if you've seen Robotech. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you enjoy series like that. Let me know which. Gundam series is your favorite. People have told me Gundam Wing is the best one, but I've tried watching it, and it's... It doesn't age well. It really, really doesn't. But, okay, so it says I have auto lock on, but I'm kind of missing all of my shots. Why do they keep going down to the water? It's so weird. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Good job, oh, man. that's because they got him. Cool. Boss, what's for dinner? So this isn't bad. It controls pretty well. Controls better than that Iron Man game did on the Xbox 360. Ugh. I don't really know the whole deal between these different factions. I don't know which one's good, which one's bad, if maybe they're both bad. I don't know. It's another problem I have with these kind of mech genre things is the, the plots are pretty convoluted. Okay, let's get to today's task. Which isn't always a bad thing. They're called battle frames. Oh, they got wings like Mercy does out of Overwatch. I can do that. We are not the only kid in the block. Right now, the Children of Fallen Nation terrorist group is attacking Neo Aichi Okay, so clearly the one that's called labeled a terrorist group is the bad group. Unless this is like a Star Wars thing where the rebels are actually the good guys. 
Once you're there, or I guess, you know, if you think about it, that depends on your view of government. Fight your way out. Is the Empire bad? Well, if you have a... Anyway, I'm not going to get into that on, on, on this channel. We're here to play this mech game and see how it goes. You know what I would love to see in a mech game? I'd love to see an Evangelion game. Neon Genesis Evangelion is one of my favorite mech anime. And oh, it's just so good. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just get into it. I'll worry about the audio logs later. But Evangelion was an anime that I didn't watch when it first came out. And then when it when I had the opportunity to watch it, it was enthralling, to say the least. I was so hooked on it. Is there a reason I can't move? Oh, there we go. Oh, you can do a little... Got him. Okay, so we got civilians down there. We have people up here doing bad stuff. I think, like I said, I don't really know the story. Like, it's if the thing's red, you shoot it. If it's green, you can't shoot it. So you're kind of pigeonholed into attacking only a certain type. Press down button to switch to the rail gun. Fire the real oh, it's just firing now, okay. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of Evangelion here, because in Evangelion there was this city underneath the city. Which you would have to look up a picture of it. I can't remember what the city's even called now. It's been so long since I've watched that anime. But this kind of reminds me of that how like you know you'd have the city on the surface of the planet, and then you'd have one underneath it as well, which is where they do all their research and things like that. Oh, here's the real gun. I wasn't even using the real gun. Ooh, that's cool. Oh, went into a building. Other opening. Okay. Smart missile. Auto acquire targets if there is no lockdown. Cool. down here? Are they like behind the door? Okay. I was like, did they just get stuck in there? Because if that's the case, you can just kind of leave them be. Man, it takes a long time for these missiles to reload. Good grief. So yeah, it, I'm not going to lie, the controls do take a little getting used to. It's mainly just because when you boost and you're flying around, like I said, there, there's a reason that flying in cockpit mode kind of made me nauseous. Switch to Psycho Drone. Oh, that's kind of cool. Did they just go and attack on their own, I guess? Okay. Yeah, this might not be a bad alternative to to play while we're waiting on Damon X Machina to come out. Which, if you played that beta, let me know. Because I'm curious to know what other people thought of it. None of my shots are hitting. Let me switch to different button. Here we go. Can't miss if you have something that locks on. Oh, that railgun's nice. I know what you might be thinking. This game is not all that graphically impressive. And you're right. It isn't. But at the same time, like it's not too bad. Some of the particle effects are pretty good. But it plays nicely enough. Which is kind of my thing. I tend to prefer gameplay over visuals. Now if a game just looks like 
absolute doo-doo, then yeah, you know, I'm gonna have a hard time playing it. There's actually a, uh, a game that we'll be doing a what is for a little bit later on called State of Mind. Yeah, State of Mind. That oh, just does not look good. In my opinion. But that's a little tease. We'll save that for later. So, the machine gun is pretty much useless. <laughs> Unless you're, like, right on top of the enemy. Because I don't think I've gotten any hits with it. So this is Project Nimbus. Like I said, this is a game that I saw on sale in the eShop. I don't think it's still on sale, but I did see it in there, saw it on sale. I was like, yeah, why not? This would be a good YouTube video. I figured, why not? Yeah, the boosting is a little... Eh. Maybe I can lower the sensitivity of the sticks. Because like I said, it's it's a little like... What's the word? It's just It just kind of throws you off when you're boosting through and flying and doing all that. Oh, wow. I guess this is the whole arena. At least they gave you plenty of space to fly around. What? How do I use flares? All the enemies gone? I don't see anyone else. Everybody else is just kind of hanging out right there. So I kind of wish that there was a little more work put into the skyboxes. Because it just looks barren. It just kind of makes it not all that interesting to look at. That was one nice thing about Damon X Machina is the environments look pretty cool. You're always in like a city or you're flying above one or something, but you could look around and there'd be mountains and different things like that. This dude just gets stuck. <laughs> he can still shoot missiles, though. He can still shoot missiles, but man, he got stuck. Don't mind me. I'll just unload the railgun on you. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Cool. That's funny. From now on, I entrust Mirai, I mean the that human Mirai, under your care. Oh, Please man. Raise her to Job be a well good done. Person. Job well done. Professor. Well, dear listeners, this has been a first look at Project Nimbus. If you guys are playing this on the Switch, let me know what you think. If you guys are excited for Damon X Machina, let me know. But until next time, GG and amen. That destroyer shouldn't be able to find us on radar, let alone engaging us from that sort of distance. It must be using a recon squadron for remote visual targeting. So far, all the shots have missed, but their aim is getting better. If Dakao uses weapons to take these battle frames out, our position will be compromised. We will break our silent run, crank out active jammer, accelerate, and shake them off. But right now, Mirai doesn't have any weapons. The Psychodrone is still attached to its wings, right? That should be enough. And Pilot Son, I mean, Mr. Morgan, will get accustomed to the Psychodrone better, too. 